Alright, Beach Cave is your first dungeon, and it's like exact, the dungeon layouts are pretty much the same exact way as red and blue. Uh, I normally use the top screen for my map, but since I want you guys to at least have a clue what's going on, I'll show the map on the bottom screen. So, I'm just going to change uh, all my settings, so I'm set to go. Uh, dungeons are pretty much the same as the first mystery dungeon game. You have your moves, you attack, and you move around. Uh, it does take a little bit getting used to, but it shouldn't take too long. The, there is water in this dungeon, which is kind of pretty strange for a first dungeon. You only have a one item inventory, so you better get one item and learn to love it. Uh... Anyway, you shouldn't have any troubles getting through this place. It's uh, four floors, and then it has a fifth floor for meeting up with Zubat and coughing. So, it shouldn't be too difficult getting through. I meant to use tackle there, but it uh, just has a bunch of water types and all of that. No, you took the blast seed, which I was going to use on you, which I can't really use it because I only have that stupid one item inventory. I'll just eat it so I can make some firework explosions. Uh, yeah, you could get some help. There's like the... Man, there's like Pokemon everywhere. Uh, once you level up, you'll get stronger. It's kind of what you should expect, but... Uh, you can set a move, so you just press L and A, which is how I've been using Tackle all this time. You could uh, go diagonally with the R button. You could speed up with B. You could also pull up your inventory with B. And you could pull up the menu with X. I don't like that they switched the buttons around, but that's how they did it. If you're a water type, keep in mind you can go over water. Man, I hate this one item inventory. I'm going to just make some more pretty fireworks for the heck of it. Okay, so when you get to the beach cave pit, you're going to meet up with Zubat and Coughing. Now give me back that treasure. Zubat and Coughing, uh, a pretty easy boss battle. If you have Growl, use it. If not, just use your normal attack. Uh, they'll kind of just uh, move all around you. So, uh, it's actually not too hard. If you have Pikachu, this will be probably the easy, this won't be hard at all. Because Pikachu can just zap the Zubat. Uh, if not, just work, try to work at one of them, and then once you knock them out, there's only one left. It isn't really hard, and you should have no problems winning this battle. Ow, 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 ow. You got defeated by wimps. 
Yeah, our victory was a fluke. You're just a bunch of losers. Anytime I have nothing to do, so I might as well do it. It's nice to be appreciated. Again, it's going to show you the relic fragment on the top screen. But money's all excited about searching and stuff like that. He wants to figure out what his relic fragment's for. It is kind of a pretty neat design. I wish I could show it, but the fact that my DS is kind of like taped to a wall doesn't help things. I'm serious. It's the only way I could film the bottom screen. You tried to join an exploration team, but you chickened out. I have absolutely no place to go. Okay, I'm getting recruited out of the blue, but I might as well do it. I mean, what the heck, I have no place to go anyway. Wiggly Tuff's place. Hmm. And so, the two formed an exploration team. This turned out to be their very first step into many fantastic adventures that await their arrival.